One of the things I get asked about most often is these things. These are the Kanga sub tank coils, which are, as you will be able to see, uh, quite chunky little beasties. Let's just zoom in on it a little bit. Now this comes ready coiled, um, but they're actually very, very simple to recoil. And it's one of the things I do, as I say, gassed about quite a lot. Um, and there's a number of different ways of doing it. But what most people don't realize is this little top bit here, you can see that there's a line around there. It will actually come off. One of the things you'll also notice is that the cotton isn't actually pulled through the hole. So what I'm going to do is have a blast at re-wicking one of these in nickel to see if we can't approximate the way it ought to be. So we need to start with a pair of Pligen filters and we need to grip that so that we can get another pair of Pligen filters and get the thing off. I'm going to give myself a little bit of room so you can see what's going on and want to pull the top bit off and you need to be careful as well of course that you've got them properly lined up which that one is and then a little twist and off it comes that makes life an awful lot simpler you can see exactly what's going on again let's get down a little bit closer so that you can you can see this is the the top bit that I've just pulled off it is a push fit it is just a push fit and fits into the top there. Now you can see very easily what's going on here. The coil is set, or the wick is set, not so it goes through, but it's actually pushed into there. It's all right, let's take the bottom end off and you can do this very simply. So you've got the little, the little button the little plastic bit and then the coil itself will just quite easily pull out. So let's do that, pull it out and there you have it. The empty holder, the coil and that, that's quite, that is really quite densely populated with cotton and you can see that the uh, yeah, I'm not quite sure what that material is. Canthal maybe? I don't know. But there's not many turns on it. Anyway, right, so. As you may know, the screwdriver that comes with a sub tank gives you the right size coil if you were going to thread the, the wick through. But I'm not going to do that this time. I shall make a bigger one. I'm going to go quite wide. Um, this is my coiling jig, so let's do the business and we'll widen things out a touch so you can see what's going on and I am literally going to use the biggest because I want to put plenty of cotton in this so not too much free wire and I don't want them particularly touching too three, four, five turns will suffice. And as I say, I don't want them touching. So there we have it. Let's zoom in a little bit and then you can see exactly what's going on there. So it's just five turns, neatened off. But I don't want them touching. This is a nickel coil. And so now, all I'm going to do is just cut one leg slightly shorter than the other. Make sure I've got them nicely set. So that they're pretty much parallel and relatively straight. And then... Got, having made sure I've got enough length 
I'm going to wick it so that former can come out. And here's my cotton. And what I'm going to do is just tear a pad in half, straight down the middle. Let's turn that out a bit so again you can see what's going on. And need a pair of scissors. So what we do now is judge it. And I judge that I'm going to need roughly that. But I don't need it all that wide, so let's cut it just a little bit wider to start with. And it's maybe twice the width, but I'm going to lose a bit when I've put it through. Because I don't want this as tight as what the original one is. I want it fairly slack. So there we go. And offering that up, I think that's probably going to work. So I want to cut that even on both sides. And give it a good fluffing. Right. So now we simply push these in and push the coil down and then back up. And this is where you need to get a little bit creative. The coil itself needs to be reasonably high up, around about level, in fact, um, with the, the holes. So if I now put this leg back in, like so, to trap that one leg and check where everything's at. This is the, the, the it's going to be the difficult part. That sits back on a level. And you do that just by pushing the wires up and down. You can see inside, if I, if I get this into a bit better, the free leg the positive leg, if you like, will allow you to move the coil about the place. And once you've got it right, that's when you put the everything in place the wick is more or less where I want it so now it's just a case of tucking this down because obviously I don't want that wick all I want it doing is blocking the hole right just blocking the hole the rest is fine so that's it that's the wick in and then the top needs to go back on and I'm going to just snip these wires before I put the top back on. Just give these a little snip. A little check to make sure there's no shorting going on there. Uh, it doesn't appear to be. I'll just push these wires in a little tad. Don't worry if this bottom one sticks out a little bit, that's not going to make you hit with the difference because it will get pushed back in when you screw the coil in place.
just means that you're not gonna that's it get things upscale so that's good that's all working and now one last check to make sure that you've got that push down into place so that it is going to get that juice and this will wick extremely well and then the top goes back on and the best way of doing that I have found is to get the pliers out and just nip it down with your pliers and you do that from base to tip like that side by side or one side at a time I should say rather than side by side snip that back down That's it that's it done now that will work quite nicely thank you in whichever sub tank you fancy it in because it works in them all and just to prove it let's take a, an empty sub tank which this is and take out the coil that is currently in it. All right, so take the coil out, and as usual, David gets wick and juice and crap everywhere. So screw it in. Good old good Lincoln, and now we need a DNA. 40 device I'll use this one and it is working I'm going to knock it down from 30 watt because <laughs> that's too high okay quick press and it's 0.2 ohms exactly so they're not a write down and then stick a little goblet of juice in there so here we go a little bit of juice it's starting to work that's at uh, 17 so we're ready to go we can fill the tank up and stick it on a device and give it six now. See how it works. Which is always a good idea. So tank filling time. Move the device out the way, there's the tank. Three mils of juice gets nowhere close. I'm going to start just tipping it in. That'll do. Little bubbles rising, look, as the wick takes hold. So let's build that right up to where I like it, which is at around about 25 watts. That is 25 watts. And, um, yeah, give it a blast. That's hammering it. I'm gonna knock that down a bit. So that's how you really wake a sub tank. Or a sub tank or a sub tank.
Salut